Hey, what up, guys? It is SMG for Live Zero One. Just coming in with this dopeness video for you guys. Another uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 gameplay for. And now this is Dragon Universe 4 Gohan, the adult Gohan, the kid or teen, as you just saw there. And basically, right now, at this moment, um, Go Gohan's actually talking to his mother about um, entering the tournament and his father in the other world and all that mumbo gumbo that really no one really cares about <laughs> so um 10 million zenny she's shocked she's like you can do that you can buy your own phd if you wanted to and so the first um skill that you actually unlocked is super saiyan and thing i don't really get is that is that go teen gohan is has super saiyan 2 right he's able to shift over to super saiyan 2 but this adult Gohan is only able to shift up to Super Saiyan, so that's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. It would be awesome if Gohan would was actually able to shift up to Super Saiyan 3. That would be totally awesome. And um, obviously Vegeta doesn't even go to Super Saiyan 3. He skips that shit and he's like, okay, I'm going to go Super Saiyan 4 instantly through using a machine. A mechanical device that allows him to uh, get his tail back and become Super Saiyan 4. So this first moment you get to spar against Goten and obviously I'm gonna turn Super Saiyan and actually Goten has Super Saiyan and the thing is obviously that there's a hell of a load of there well there was a load of Super Saiyan or well Saiyans who ended up getting their asses whipped because um, on Frieza, Frieza destroyed their planet and Vegeta was the only one left. Vegeta, Nappa, um, and Raditz were the only three left and then Goku obviously was one that was sent to Earth and obviously he has kids and th those kids are half Saiyans uh, so uh, th that's an additional two more Saiyans to the mix so Raditz obviously dead, Nappa's dead, um, Vegeta still alive, Goku still alive so that's two, three, four, four, five, five Saiyans still around uh, the other one is Trunks and Vegeta. Well, there's Trunks and there's Kid Trunks. I don't get how you could get th three levels up by fighting Goten. That's a bit weird. Goten wasn't even that hard to um, fight. But Goten's just like a, a younger version of Goku. That's what he looks like. I need to do Broly's uh, story mode. So I'll be doing that probably today maybe. But I won't be posting that very soon. Uh, so it is, it is, it's, a, it's a long process actually doing all these videos. I, it's an 18 minute video, obviously it's not long as like 50 minutes, almost an hour long video and obviously unlock Go 10 now. And um, yeah, the story mode's like, if, if, if I'm if I'm going to talk about something, I'm going to talk about this one thing that I want to talk about, I've wanted to talk about it for a while now, is that um, I talked about it a bit in one of the other videos. I want to talk about the similarities in the different, different like animated cartoons so, so like this this cartoon uh or anime uh, is similar to like street fighter street fighter they shoot out stuff from their hands and then um again this is kind of again similar to a different another one uh that i should mention um this is similar to uh what, what else is this similar to it's actually similar to quite a few things um, well, and basically it was this, this was a big hype, and then Naruto became such a big hype as well, when Naruto was a big hype for me in 2009 when I got my PC and I started watching it. Uh, my friend is the one who actually got me into it, uh, into Naruto, and I remember like watching every episode, I downloaded the whole series, the whole like kid series, and I tried to watch Shippuden and I didn't really get into it, and I was trying to watch that, because I, I, I watched the English episodes, uh, it's not that I'm not bothered to read the subtitles, it's just that I prefer it to be in English, it's a bit more easier that way, and um, yeah, and, and this at this point, uh, Gohan's fighting his girlfriend, um, who is uh, actually pretty strong, and I don't get how Hercule actually becomes champion. Hercule, why are you champion? That which obviously that's it. That's her father who is champion. So I'm just I'm just like beating I'm pounding the crap out of her, and she's not really doing much to me. She's trying to obviously get a move on me. I can't remember how to unlock Vidal, and I'm not too sure if I already have unlocked Vidal. I probably have to play Gohan Story Mode again in order to unlock her. Uh, Hercule, I know that I think you unlock him through the uh, tournament mode. I'm not too sure. I Again, I can't remember. 
uh, this game I've played like I played so much as a kid but I just can't remember anything about it like how to unlock specific characters that the next character I'm unlocking is Omega Shenron and I'm gonna have to unlock him by fighting uh, I mean going through Dragon Universe with Goku and I'll probably do that tonight because I want to play the game as, as like as fast as possible um because that's kind of what I'm doing. I, like the story mode isn't really that long. It takes me about like half hour, maybe an hour to finish, and depending on how many times I lose, or how many times I actually like re let them talk. Like in this, I actually let them talk for you guys, so you guys can like read of what what they're talking about and stuff. So it is a really long process. Um, processing these videos are are quite long as well. Like um, after. After I like right now, I think you fight against Deborah or someone like that. Deborah, Deborah, yeah, some yeah the the hell guy. You get to fight him. He has an M on his face, and you get to fight him. Thing uh, about was it uh, Super Boo? When you fight Super Boo, you get to. Um, that's when he absorbs Gohan's powers, and obviously that is like totally crazy. He absorbs Gohan's powers and then you're like, holy crap, how am I meant to fight this guy? I, I just love doing the dodges. The dodges are the best thing about this game. You can, It's just like so fun. I actually did try out Dragon Ball Z Budokai, uh, the, the first one. It is definitely crap. I would not recommend you guys playing that game. This is just like 50 million times more better. The only difference is, is that that has cutscenes. Like so, and, and it has like a like quick play like kind of puzzle games kind of thing so like the first thing I I saw about it is that you can't do a straight up Kamehameha you have to do a combo before you can like pull off a Kamehameha as Goku or whoever you play as you have to like it's, it's just weird it, and the graphic graphics are, look good cutscenes look alright but then it got Japanese guys talking so it, it that kind of kills the kills the game for me so I'm like powering up and just like firing off some Kamehameha's at this guy. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna hit him a bit to damage him up. Now I'm on full key and now I'm about to just Kamehameha him, but he hits me back. But then I obviously pull off a, a sweet dopeness re uh, reversal, uh, but then he hits me back obviously. I, I like I like fighting this. I like fighting quickly because I don't like. I don't like having to waste time maybe having to fight this guy throughout like the only time I maybe take take my time is if I want to pull off a story kind of finish and that's that's what I do in the WWE games I try and like wait like as much as possible even like w what I did in the uh, the WWE games was um, I tried my best to hit CM Punk with the rock bottom and the people's elbow uh, and then go in for a pin or hit people's elbow and then ha also have another finisher in order to hit him with the rock bottom but uh, obviously CM Punk I had it so that CM Punk hits the rock and then the rock comes back and finishes him off instantly so uh, obviously this gameplay is uh, I, it's just it's just a video and I just cut the end the beginning and the ends off because it was just like it's so much more better that way and um, it's a lot more easier to process I guess it's, it, and it's only 20 minutes and I did not lose once in this and some of it is just like me flying around trying to find like Dragon Balls and stuff like that those are the only kind of long parts in the story mode and now I find uh, this is when you get to fight Boo uh, uh, well uh, f you get to fight e oh no you don't oh, I can't remember oh no this is when you get uh, Super Kamehameha from Goku uh, he gives you the move and you, you, you're meant to use it on Fat Boo which I was trying to do and I couldn't pull it off and you're gonna see that in the fight uh, so <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny like Super Boo he seems oh, well Fat Boo actually seems like he's a he's a cool like dude he doesn't want to like mess with anyone he doesn't want to fight but um, well he does want to fight but he, he seems like he's the good guy and then and then he turns into Super Boo and I don't know how the hell he manages to do that I, I still I need to I definitely need to watch the, st the series I've put them all on my USB so like when I go downstairs I can probably watch it and um, on my tab if I'm downstairs I can still watch it then uh, I, I've actually pulled off watching WWE on my tab but not off the USB because I got the OTG cable uh, so right now I'm actually I'm just trying to just trying to like injure him enough in order to me 
for me to use the Super Kamehameha on him, on a Fat Boo. But his name's actually not Fat Boo, it's actually Margin Boo. I can't remember, yeah, this is, this is Margin Boo and then there's the other one who's Fat Boo. I mean, Kid Boo and then there's Super Boo who is the, like, normal, the Earthworm Jim looking one. The one who, well, well he's not skinny. I think the Kid Boo looks like uh, Earthworm Jim. If any of you guys have ever played that game, that game used to be dope. I used to play that game so much back in the day. I used to play um, um, Earthworm Jim. I used to play Aladdin. I used to play Jungle Book Prince of Persia. Just never ever like actually got through like the part in Prince of Persia, the old school one. Or the, t the 2D version. And I remember playing Aladdin. I just never, never figured I could clock that game. So I think I might try and play some old school games like on the PC, like just emulate it, emulate it, um, and maybe use like I, I probably wouldn't even need to use a controller because like three or four buttons you press. And also there's the game Mario's Missing. That's one game. I think it's is it Mario's Missing? Yeah, it is Mario's Missing. That used to be on the PC like ages ago. I think they need to remake that game. That game was dope as hell. And now obviously you're seeing me kick. Boo's ass and now I'm trying to power up enough so I can pull off that that move that I'm trying to do and uh, yeah it missed so I fucked up and he uses his innocence blow thing or whatever that move is where he runs around like a total douchebag um, so I, I use a Kamehameha on him it's a combination that you can pull off um, by hitting them up and then quickly hitting them with the Kamehameha See, right now I'm just trying to stay away and get some key so I can Super Saiyan up and finish him off. I'm just trying to stay away from him. I'm like looking at this, I'm like, dude, you suck. And I was lucky that he didn't get me into a rush mode move because I would have been so pissed. And now watch this. Ah! And I flop that. And he hits me and then I'm, I lose my Super Saiyan again. He hits me with another move and I'm like, screw it, I'm going to finish you, bitch. I'm going to finish you, I'm going to get my power up and I'm going to hit you until you die, son. Boom, you're dead. That's how we do, man. That's how we do. Oh, yeah, I still need to watch Monday Night Raw. I watch TNA Impact Wrestling. I mean, not Impact Wrestling. Uh, TNA's Genesis and Jeff Hardy did an awesome job. And I have to say that because he is one of the best wrestlers well, not the best wrestler. Well, I, I can say he is the best wrestler. He is my favorite wrestler too. He's one of the best wrestlers that that ever. Uh, his finishing move is like epic. And as you can see, one of my friends came online on on it on PS3. And and the thing is, I I would love for this game to be online. You know how awesome this game would be if it was online. Bloody hell, it would be awesome because I'd get to kick people's ass. People would get to kick my ass playing this game. Oh yeah, this is when the Z sword breaks and then um. The Supreme Kai, the elder version of this baldy guy, uh, comes up. So that's him in the future for 2,000 years later. That's him. And that's, I think, that's in Otherworld. And I don't know why they call it Otherworld. They should, I don't know. Actually, Otherworld sounds better than Heaven, though, if you think about it. But then they're able to come back. Usually, when you're in Heaven, you're not able to come back. And I don't even know if Heaven and Hell even exists. And I don't know how people know that. Okay, if you do good deeds, you're going to heaven. If you do bad deeds, you go to hell. I have no freaking clue how people know that there's a hell and a, a heaven and a hell. And how they portrayed that and how they portrayed the devil and God. So it's kind of a weird thing going on here. If you if you think about it, it's actually pretty weird. How can, how can someone say this person created the earth or this being created the earth? It's a bit weird if you think about it. I have no idea what the Elder Kai thing does. Uh, I I couldn't even put it into my um, my skill list, uh, so I was like, "What the hell is that supposed to freaking do?" So I was like, "Okay, I take everything off, and then I try to put it on, and still it didn't work." Can unlock hidden potential with Elder Kai's power. Require Super Saiyan two skill. I have no idea what the hell that means. It says that it works with Gohan, and I need to figure out how it works. Uh, I'll, I'll probably go on in a bit and play it. Uh, so now this is when you get to fight Super Buu. So um, actually, I'm heading here to to uh, see King Kai. Uh, I get to uh, talk to him. He talks about something. And he's like, "Hey, go!" He calls me Goku. 
He's like, who the hell are you, douche? You douchebag. And unlock something as well. Get the Z sword attack power up. And I'm like, okay, then I'm going to put that on my character. Gonna make him a bit stronger. Yeah. And I put serious as well. Get serious. So if, if I get damaged, uh, it activates after my health gets uh, after my health gets low, and then I'm able to kick ass. So now I'm like, okay, yeah, let's go fight Boo now. Whoop de doo de doo. In the mountains, I, I thought you fight him in the in the um, in the forest. Oh well, you fight him in the mountains. The mountains, and after this is it's like really simple. This video is actually like not really long, and it's really short. Oh shit! I was tweeting something with my phone in my hand. So uh, a lot of this gameplay is just a lot of fighting and flying and just having a lot of fun. And actually, Gohan with this outfit on looks way more better with his with this outfit on than he does because he looks more like his dad. More, looks more like Goku, um, and he looks way more better. I guess. I don't know what logo he has though. Like who he's been training. I don't think he does have a logo. Like on the back and on the front, the little patches. I remember in high school there was one kid. We had like a a day where you could wear whatever you want, and it was like a, you get to like you run around the school it was for charity or something. And I remember one kid, he actually dressed up as Goku, and everyone was like, oh my god, that guy's a beast, fam. That guy is dope. And obviously we didn't talk like that back in high school. I mean, primary school, but uh, yeah, he came in with a Goku outfit, and this guy was, was, was black. So he would never even look like Goku anyway. He was wearing the, the outfit, but he didn't have the shoes. He wore plimsolls instead, which actually did kill the outfit a bit. So uh, that kind of made him a bit weird. And, and at that point in time, um, in high school, I, at that point, I could, oh, well, not high school, primary school, at that point, I had uh, injured my leg, so I couldn't even walk properly, so I couldn't even join in. Uh, they were like, oh, are you, do you want to do the walk? We'll have someone accompany you. I was like, am I getting special treatment because I have a dodgy leg? Really? <laughs> I was like, yo, is this, this is stupid. <laughs> I couldn't actually believe that they would like give you special help because I was injured. Like, because they wouldn't do that if you were dumb, or if you were like someone who wasn't who wasn't really like 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 I w I don't want to say it because it's kind of rude, so I don't want to say that. Uh, but yeah, I didn't really get much help in, in high school. Uh, only in the last year where is where I did get some kind of help from my teachers. Uh, we had some like person who used to come in to help. I, I the last the last two years of primary school were kind of not the best years of like like primary school i think it could have been like the like the more like fun fun years year four and year three were just like terrible yeah actually were year three was all right year, th year four was like tremendously crap year five was it was all right uh we had a stupid teacher who didn't really teach properly uh and everyone hated her in the end of the at, at the end of the year um and then in the last year, in year six, is when, um, uh, yeah, so actually that's it for the end of this video. I'll talk about my school years in the next video. I'll end that video. I'm actually getting cool now. So I'll end this video now. Peace out, peeps.